Hold up. Alright, what's going on guys, Mr. Clasher here, welcome back to another Clash of Clans gameplay commentary, and today I'm going to bring you guys, like I said, the recap video for Proud YouTubers vs. Asim Legions. So once we got paired up to this war, I actually thought this was just unbelievably unbalanced match, and it's because they did win 76 wins, and usually when we face clans with over maybe 40 or 50 clan war wins we usually lose pretty badly so this was going to be a pretty tough battle but i told my clan mates not to you know keep it on the positive side i told them don't get hectic just because we're facing a very tough clan doesn't mean uh we have to like give up and stuff so and we fought the last straw honestly it was a very good um battle so um starting the war it was pretty good actually because the other clan, Asim Legions, was actually, I think they were, um, their clan location was India. So, the time zones are different in India. I think it's 10 hours ahead or something like that. So, obviously, the score, you know, the scores and the way we attack are going to be different in different time zones. So, that was the first trade you guys saw. That's the most heroic offense. And this is the most heroic defense by Vela. So, um... Some of our players actually attacked very late in the war, but at least they got a stars, and we needed as many stars as possible. Like, even, I actually, because we were all pretty nervous in the beginning, I actually went down, because I uh, one-starred number two, and I actually went down to a Town Hall 8, and I just three-starred him, because I was like, you know what, this war is going to be close, and might as well try to get as many three stars and two stars as we possibly can. So this defense is by Vela, and looks like the player is using all dragons on Vela's base. And I think this is an awesome um, base, at least in um, anti-dragon base for sure, because look at this. And I may be not the best leader, because I'm not, and I may not be the best war attacker or something, but um, I did plan dragons out in the CC, and for a lot of actually defense, they worked because... What the enemy would do is it, they would take like 30 to 45 seconds just to lure out the CC and kill the dragons and start the attack. And those 30 seconds, even 20 seconds, that's 20 seconds off your battle. So it was key. It was pretty important. And I was glad we actually put dragons in. So I actually did not donate any dragons. So thank you to whoever donated dragons in our CCs to our defense. I think it was Kyle oakwood and a couple others so thank you anyway we got we did get a new couple players um such as heatwave and trap which is heatwave's bro and this was their number six player and this was actually towards the end of the war like really towards the end and we really really needed to just uh wrap up this war and you know hope for the best so um this player was untouched i believe yeah so it was when I was looking at this base, I was like, how can you three-star? Like, this was definitely an anti-Hog Rider base, at least from the the way the defenses were laid out. So I knew the Hog Riders were definitely... People should not be using Hog Riders on this base. Um, so... And you guys will see, there's a couple traps where the Hog Riders actually could easily get killed and destroyed. So Trap is going in with the Go Wipe, and he does a very good job in just getting into this base and destroying everything this base has. So... Good job, Trap. That was a good attack. I actually did not watch this live, uh, but I heard people said it was a three-star, so I checked back, and yes, it was a three-star. So that was awesome. Good attack, and yeah. Anyway, it looks like the troops, and look at this. The giant bomb right there. That could have been a disaster for the Hog Riders. Two giant bombs. Yeah, that's definitely an anti-Hog base. But like I said, 76 wins, and... Towards this war, we just, again, like I said, needed to wrap up this war and just hope for the best that we were going to win. And hopefully the other team was not going to keep attacking us. So in a second, you guys are going to see one last raid. Um, let's see who is it by. It's by Mixby. So this was actually kind of kind of towards the end of the war, in the middle, maybe. And we needed three stars, like I said. If we're going to have to win this war, we're going to have to get three stars. Two stars was was acceptable. And, but three stars would be a lot better. So, 
Mixbeast going in with the Go Wee Wee, and she did request for two, which is which I gave her because I was just after my both attacks, I was boosting troops. Actually, after my first attack, I was boosting troops so I can donate to people. And after my second attack, I was boosting, and I was just training Pekkas and Wizards, and I think a couple people helped me. But that came very important, and it came a very um, like Pekka actually saved some people's raids, and so did dragons and wizards. So people really did need those war troops just in order so we can manage to squeak by. So it looks like Mixbeast really going into this base. And from this point, I mean, he's got a king alive, a couple Pekkas, well, one Pekka, golems, wizards. So I think from this point, it's going to be a pretty solid three star, or very close. But right now, it's not about the three star. I mean, it is about the three star, but it's about time because pretty much every defense is down. But you got to destroy all these buildings, and time is just your uh, kind of worry right now because the the troops Mixby has are pretty slow, um, except the archers. So again, there was once he finished a raid, there was only about maybe ten seconds to eight seconds slow. I was like, where is the last building? And I saw the army camp. There was only like 20 seconds. I was like, hurry up. So there we go. And I'm going to show you guys the score that just happened and the final conclusion of the war. So let's go back home and check it out. And 62 to 52. Yes, guys, we barely managed to squeak by and beat them. 76 wins. We nailed them. So hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. Make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe. If we could smash 40 five likes for this video that'll be amazing i'll see you guys on my next video